King of Steel is in. It's the Kitco Champion Stakes. They're off. Via Sestina gave a little jump, leaving the stalls. Was going to be dropped in from a wide draw. Baybridge going forward with Royal Rhyme. And then Point Lonsdale, who's cajoled along on the inside, and Mike Prospero coming through strongly in the blinkers for the first time. So quite a bit of competition for the early lead. Point Lonsdale around the inside of Mike Prospero, Royal Rhyme, and then two or three legs to Bay Bridge. And they're followed by Horizon Dor, who's a rather keen, the French challenger on the outside of Dubai Honor via Sestina, and Frankie's at the back on King of Steel, heading right-handed at Swinley Bottom. And My Prospero just to the outside of Point Lonsdale. My Prospero leading under Tom Marcon. Point Lonsdale second. Royal Rhyme is third. Then Baybridge close up in fourth on the outside of Dubai Honor. Horizon Door settled a bit better now behind these, followed by King of Steel. And uh, they head up the hill here towards the final five furlongs via Sestina, still towards the back with King of Steel. And maybe the pace just slowing down a little bit, sensibly so perhaps by Prospero by a half length to Royal Roy, Point Lonsdale, Bay Bridge in a good position to try and double up from last year. Then Dubai Honor, Horizon Dor via Sestina's on the outside in the pink sleeves. King of Steel and Frankie de Torre at the back of the field as they race on now towards the final three furlongs in the home turn. And it's My Prospero by length to Royal Rhyme. Baybridge going up into third on the outside of Point Lonsdale. Then Horizon Dor via Sestina is circling the field from Dubai Honor. And King of Steel now being pushed along down the run towards the finish. And Royal Rhyme looming up on the outside of My Prospero. Here comes Horizon Dor with via Sestina. Baybridge flattening out Point Lonsdale. King of Steel is staying off from the back. Still got a bit to find though. And it's via Sestina, the mayor, who comes through to lead from on door. King of Steel is trying to reach them inside the final furlong. Via Sestina, here comes King of Steel under Frankie de Dory on the near side. Via Sestina by a half length. He's a neck, he's a head, and King of Steel, he gets up the win. He wins the champion, and Frankie de Dory, he salutes the crowd on his farewell ride and his favourite race course is King of Steel in the hands of Frankie de Dory. From his second via Sestina, she was worn down close to the finish. And they were away from Horizon Door in third and in fourth, Point Monster. Cannot believe, I mean, the crowd got the source of the line. I mean, I was doing my best on top, but the scream that I got was incredible. Thanks to all of you, you made me, made me win this race, and it was fantastic. I love you. You know, Hollywood script. Unbelievable. Yeah. Love you. Yeah. I don't know how to feel at the moment. I don't know if it's real or... It's real. <laughs> I still don't, don't, don't feel it. It was uh, incredible. When you turn into the straight, you were going pretty well. And then what happened next? No, I struggled from the beginning. I couldn't really get him to travel. He was stumbling and, and uh, you know, then it started to come good. And I, I got behind uh, Mikel, who I thought was the host to beat. And then I thought, well, the machine is going pretty good, so I go in his tail, and when they kicked the left wheel for a little bit, but uh, he just found a, a second wind, and he, he dug deep, and the crowd got behind me, and, and we got him over the line. Um, did you think you were going to get there? The last 50 yards, yes. Yeah. Not till then. <laughs> what a feeling, uh, the crowd was... I mean, I thought the first race, the crowd was good, but this to another level, honestly. You know, it was incredible, and uh, I mean, a fairy tale ended to me. Ascot is my home, and uh, pretty emotional, to be honest with you. But, but, but happy, happy. It's absolutely amazing. What a day! You know, Ascot is everything to me, and to finish it, I mean, what can you say? Winning the champion stakes, your last ride, and incredible. I'm pleased that uh, you all had fun. I did for sure. Thanks very much. Well, Frankie, we'll we'll never forget this moment. None of us here today. We'll never forget it. We were privileged to be here to share it with you and your remarkable career, incredible career. We've got a little present for you. Come over here. Ladies and gentlemen, this is a gift to Frankie. <laughs> it's the racing bell. This, this bell, Frankie, it says Kipco British Champions Day on here. And on the other side, Frankie, it says 
thank you from British Racing. Can I ring it? You can ring it as long as you, uh, yeah, absolutely. I can see it. This is your farewell gift, Frankie. Seconds out. <laughs> it's the end of this round, but you're moving on. I'm moving on, and uh, thanks for you know Ascot, the crowd. It's been a fabulous day. Uh, at least I won't be late for work with that bell. But, <laughs> but I'm, I'm, I'm unemployed now. I've got a job. I'm retired. But it's been uh, good fun. I couldn't have wrote it myself. It's been amazing. Uh, I can't wait to go back home and rewatch it again. I hope you all had fun, and uh, here we go. Life moves on. We thank you from the bottom of our hearts, Frankie. Frankie, you've been brilliant. Thank you so much. Thank you to all of you. Watch live racing now on racingtv.com.